Hi, my name's Tom. I'm the Head of Data Science at BioRelate, and in this quick demo, I'm going to show you how to use the Neo4j MCP server in Anthropic's Claude to accelerate your analysis of collective data. Graph databases like Neo4j are great for exploring and analyzing knowledge graphs. However, writing graph queries is a complex, iterative, and time-consuming process. We can speed things up by exposing the Neo4j database containing galactic data as an MCP server. This enables LLM agents to access the data and query it autonomously. Here I'm using Claude 4 as the MCP client. I'm going to ask a high-level question about the mechanistic rationale linking GLP-1 and weight loss. What's really exciting about this workflow is that users can focus on asking questions relevant to biology and let the LLM figure out the best way to turn those questions into queries on the graph. Here we can see that the LLM started by understanding the shape of the data, finding relevant entities in the knowledge graph, and then looking for direct connections and then further wider multi-hop connections. It's able to use feedback from previous results to generate new questions and then write new queries that iterate on what's been returned. Another really nice feature of this tight integration between the LLM and the knowledge graph is that the graph is providing the evidence base for the conclusions the LLM is coming up with, which gives us traceability and the ability to reference any conclusions. Here we're just scratching the surface of what you can do by combining galactic data with LLM agents. Because galactic data is available as a complete data set, there's no limit to what you can do when it comes to integrating against AI. I'm really excited about what's possible when we have AI agents autonomously navigating knowledge graphs to answer some of the toughest questions in drug discovery. Tell us about your biggest challenges in navigating the biomedical literature. Where would autonomous graph exploitation save you the most time?